Hey, it's Gavin Syme here over at Syme Studios and just scanning some uh, 4x5 large format film. Just working on some portraits and other things in here. I love working with the film. But some of you have asked me about my scanning setup. Not going to do a fancy, super intensive video. This is just kind of a quickie, so apologize for the iPhone video. But I just wanted to do a quick one for you. So basically what I'm doing is I'm wet scanning in here with an Epson V700. So it's a really economical system. I develop all the negatives here in-house in my Jobo, but it doesn't really matter where you get your negatives from. Um, so let's let's take a look real quick. I have a negative here of Abraham Lincoln. Not the original one, but he looks almost like him. I, this, he was such a good Lincoln reenactor that I had to set up the 4x5 and do a, do a portrait. So I'll start off, first of all, using sleeves and stuff, trying to keep the negatives as clean as I possibly can from the developer, which, and there's, there's always dust. Dust is the bane, but I'll use like a rocket blower, get as much of that dust off as possible. What we're going to do is I've got the Epson right here. I'm showing that. And uh, I have this tray in here. This is an aftermarket called the Better Scanning Setup. And it's this glass platen here. And what we're gonna do with this is do a wet scan instead of a dry scan. And a wet scan, what it does for us is, it's kind of like if you have your car and, it, and you've just washed it and it's still wet. Everything's kind of glossy and the scratches don't show. That's basically the idea with a negative. So we're gonna take our negative. Everything looks pretty good and clean. What I'm going to do is I've already cleaned this glass. Normally I would come in here and I'd use some pure sol and some, some Kim wipes and I'd kind of wipe everything down and get it all ready. And I've kind of done that already. So basically we have the glass platen here. I have my 4x5 neg. I'm going to squirt a little bit of cami fluid onto the surface and I'm just going to drop the negative right on there. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of center it on here. It's going to be a neat portrait. You can check it out over at uh, my Sign Portraits blog. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit on top. So we're, we're basically surrounding this in fluid. Now I'm gonna take a piece of Duralar, and I only use these once or twice, so they, they stay nice and clean, but I uh, just get them in a package like this. I'm gonna take a piece of Duralar and just lay it over the top. Now sometimes people use a mask and things like that. Uh, what I do is just center my four x five nig, then I take this guy here, my little Speedball brand hard rubber roller. I've got the glass here, and there's fluid on both sides. I just gently roll this to get the bubbles out. I don't go all the way to the end, because then some fluid will leak out. It'll get on the roller, and it'll make, make uh, filmy marks all over the surface. You want it nice and clean. So I'll go like that. I'll roll it. I'll, I'll pick it up. It's going to drip a little. I'll make sure everything stays nice and clean. And just kind of hold it at an angle. I don't want any dripping to come down from here. It's okay if it drips off the bottom. I'll do a final little blow. Get any extra dust off. Now what's going to happen, I'm going to go over to the scanner. Turn it over. And its own suction is going to hold it on there. And I just set it in the tray here. And I scan it in. On a 4x5 negative like this, I'll scan it in as long as I've done a good job and things are sharp. I followed the six keys to image quality, all that good stuff. I'll get probably... 150, 200 megapixels at least. I mean, there's a phenomenal amount of detail in these. Uh, various things I'll use. I'll use the, the rocket air to deal with dust. Sometimes I'll use this heavier duty. The data back cranks out a lot of air. You've got to be careful with it, but it's very powerful. Uh, Anti-static brush sometimes for the negative. And uh, these, these little precise tweezers work great too. They're used for crafts, and I can just slip them under there and get the edge of those big negatives so I can work with them. Theoretically, I could scan two negatives on there. But generally, I just do one. This is this is the default dry scanner that came with the Epson, and it's it's pretty elegant. You just drop them in, and then you can do your preview scan, set it up, and off you go. But I definitely find for that finished image, you know, I might use that for quick proofs, but for the finished image, getting in there with the wet scan really makes a difference. So I just very very simple. It's not super complicated. Definitely takes a little longer, but total investment. I mean, this scanner costs, V700 is about $500. I spent 120 or so, 150 probably by the time I got a big bottle of fluid to get set up with the betterscanning.com wet scanning setup. And uh, so, you know, I'm in probably 700 realistically. And uh, then I'm using Silverfast 8 here. Of course, that's going to cost a little bit more, but the Epson scanning software that comes with the scanner is pretty decent. But sometimes I do find the Silverfast 8 does give me some more features and stuff, so I'll... I'll work with that as well. But uh, just kind of a quick overview, and then of course when I'm done, put the negative back in the sleeve. I number everything by date, 
and that corresponds to the file number here on the computer, and then I go into Lightroom and just carry on as if it's uh, a digital file, because it is at that point, and it takes longer because I'm dealing with basically a 15,000 pixel wide file, and it kind of brings, brings the system to its knees sometimes. But I'll just do my Lightroom and Photoshop work and stuff like that, presets, uh, retouching, all that just like I normally would. So anyways, just a quick overview. We'll, we'll try to go into more detail sometime, but I just wanted to give you a few details, and uh, you can, of course, find out what I'm up to and uh, all the latest portraits and pictorials and workshops and all that at simestudios.com, S-E-I-M studios.com. Take care, guys.